here, Sandra from Asexual Life, My Asexual Life. This is a place to be for education about asexuality, all things asexual. I share my asexual life journey in order to help you and yours. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that great big subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you get notified of every time I post a new video. If you don't know who I am, I am Sandra Bellamy, author of this awesome Asexual Perspectives 47 Asexual Stories book. Look out for this on Amazon. Type Asexual Perspectives into the search bar. I'm also the author of Fibromyalgia Self-Help Handbook, How to Manage Fibromyalgia to Have Less Pain, more energy and feel happier like a superhero rock star this book is also good for techniques of uh managing anxiety and overcoming depression too so it's well worth uh looking at that on amazon as well fibromyalgia self handbook so in today's video i want to discuss with you about asexuality being part of the lgbt uh plus spectrum and why if you're hetero romantic you might feel that you don't fit in so LGBT plus QIA or LGBT plus, um, the A stands for asexuality, although there is debate on that. In my Asexual Perspectives book, um, I interviewed the guy from Pride Matters, who's the founder of it, and he said that the A definitely stands for asexuality. So L is for lesbian, G is for gay, uh, B is for bisexual, T is for trans, the Q is for queer or it could be questioning um as some other people see it and also the i is for intersex so people that were born with male and female genitalia and the a stands for asexuality all those also debate that it could stand for agender and also aromantic i do not understand why people are putting aromantic with lgbt plus because aromantic is to do with romantic orientation not to do with sexual orientation but it seems like more and more minority orientations are going into LGBT plus. Uh, and that's why asexuality is in there, because we're in a minority sexual orientation. And it was minority sexual orientations plus trans. Um, and now it seems like it's going more towards any minority orientation. Um, and the reason why you might feel if you're heteromantic is you just don't fit into this is because I, I'm heteromantic and I'm not lesbian, I'm not gay, I'm not a bisexual, I'm not a, I'm not a biromantic, which is romantic attracted to two genders, I'm not trans, I'm, I'm not attracted to the same gender, um, you know, I'm not intersex either, um, you know, I'm cis female. Uh, assigned female at birth if you're a trans person, uh, born female at birth if you're non-trans. Um, so people use different languages, you know, and this is how um, difficulties can arise as well um, in understanding. So some heteromantic asexuals will define themselves as straight asexuals. Now, a lot of people believe the word straight means heterosexual, and so therefore they would find it weird that asexuals would call themselves straight because it's like, how can you be straight, heterosexual, if you're not actually sexually attracted to anyone, that would mean you're hetero asexual, right? Or heteromantic, if you're a romantic asexual person. But you could be hetero aromantic. You'd be romantically attracted to no one, but you could still have some aesthetic attraction um, to the opposite gender or sex, right? So, you know, there's lots of different details um, so if you're heteromantic, if you're some hetero type of asexual, you might feel like you don't fit in because you just don't, you know, don't relate to any of those other terms at all. And, you know, we are not sexually attracted to anyone. And people in the LGBT plus community are still sexually attracted to someone unless they're asexual, Right. So it is completely different thinking in that way. It's completely different being if you take out the fact you're, of the gender you're attracted to. If you don't experience any sexual attraction whatsoever, then it's kind of like we're very different to LGBT plus people because, you know, we don't experience any sexual attraction, whereas they do. It's just a different type of attraction usually to the norm, right? But the reason we're meant to fit into LGBT plus is because we're a minority sexual orientation, and that's why a lot of minority orientations are part of LGBT plus because they believe, you know, it's better to have a lot of numbers of minority people together coming together. And so that we can make a bigger impact in the world. That's the idea 
Although being a heteromantic asexual, it's very, very imperative that I get asexual. I also recognise the sexual orientation throughout the globe so that no asexual has to live in fear of really cool ever again. And to do that, I need to get through to sexuals. So yes, I'm still on uh, Facebook dating, not having much luck there at all at the moment. Um, even the dates I've had have left to nowhere. But anyway, um, yes, I will persist on getting through to sexuals all about asexuality. At least I can chat to people about it in there. I'm chatting to a new guy at the moment, just letting him know about what asexuality is. Anyway, I love you, leave you for now. Take care. Hope you've uh, found this useful, helpful insight. If you have, give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who will benefit. And don't forget to subscribe and get your friends to subscribe. Lots of love. Bye-bye.